Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our planetary framework, has for a seriously lengthy time been a subject of interest for space specialists. This little red dwarf, tracked down in 1915 by Scottish space master Robert Innes, is essential for the Alpha Centauri system, which likewise incorporates Alpha Centauri A and B notwithstanding its vicinity, simply 4.24 light-years away. It remains immaterial to the unedged eye in view of its low brightness. Anyway, Proxima Centauri holds enormous logical worth, especially as the host star of Proxima B, an exoplanet that circles within the star's livable zone. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are more modest, cooler, and significantly longer-lived than stars like our Sun. Their low brilliance makes them challenging to notice, yet it additionally implies their livable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, this implies an orbital distance of around 0.05 galactic units, just a little fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This nearness opens Proxima B to extraordinary heavenly action, including successive sunlight-based flares and raised levels of radiation, making its climate altogether different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima B was a huge accomplishment in exoplanet research. Utilizing the spiral speed method, Space researchers identified unobtrusive wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position, caused by the gravitational pull of a circling planet. These wobbles permitted researchers to gauge the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially affirmed the presence of Proxima b, marking a leap forward in the search for potentially livable worlds beyond our planetary group. While ground-based observations have given significant insights into Proxima b, they come with substantial limitations, such as air bending and light impedance, which obstruct the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. The majority of the information we have, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital qualities, comes from indirect estimations. To reveal further insights into Proxima b's environment and its potential for life, advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are essential. Proxima Centauri and Proxima B's role as a doorway to understanding exoplanetary systems can't be exaggerated. As the nearest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the circumstances necessary for life. Proxima B, specifically, presents a captivating opportunity, a rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to hold liquid water and perhaps life. Anyway, the challenges posed by its cruel climate make it a complex puzzle for researchers to address. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, isn't simply another tool in the arsenal of space science. It is a revolutionary instrument designed as the replacement to the Hubble Space Telescope. JWST was built to overcome the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided vital insights into the universe, including the age of the universe and the discovery of thousands of galaxies, its abilities are limited by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, on the other hand, is designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through vast clouds and uncover features hidden from Hubble. One of JWST's key design features is its primary mirror, which spans a staggering 6.5 meters in diameter, over two times the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect much more light, allowing it to observe even the faintest and most distant objects. The mirror is coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity and is composed of 18 hexagonal segments that work together to form an extraordinarily delicate observational platform. Another remarkable development is JWST's five-layer sunshield, which keeps the telescope's instruments at a steady temperature of about 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is essential for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Each layer of the sunshield is made from a special material called captain, coated with aluminum to reflect sunlight. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position about 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. JWST can focus on everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its ability to detect infrared light is especially critical, 
as it enables researchers to study redshifted objects, those whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. JWST's capabilities extend far beyond simple observation. It is designed to answer some of the most fundamental questions in science, such as the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that could support life on other planets. With its advanced instruments, including the Near-Infrared Camera, NIRCAM, the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSpec, JWST isn't just a telescope. It is a time machine, a research lab, and a symbol of human imagination. Proxima B has captivated both researchers and the public as a potential second Earth, situated within its star's habitable zone. The planet has the right conditions to support liquid water, a fundamental element for life as we know it. With a mass around 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima B is likely a rocky planet, similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from an ideal twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in eternal light while the other is in perpetual darkness. This creates a unique environment with extreme temperature contrast between the two halves of the planet. The area where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, could offer a limited, habitable zone with conditions mild enough to support life. The challenges posed by Proxima b's climate are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which can release bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima b has any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to shield it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, researchers remain optimistic about the potential for life on Proxima b. The planet's location within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life may adapt to the harsh conditions in a similar way that Earth organisms thrive in extreme environments like deep-sea hydrothermal vents or high-radiation zones. These adaptations could include radiation resistance, subsurface habitats, or novel biochemical pathways. Cycles the pursuit for life on Proxima B is more than just a logical undertaking. It is a mission to respond to quite possibly one of mankind's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b presents a charming probability, a rough, Earth-like world that could hold onto the circumstances fundamental for life. As our technology progresses, so does our capacity to explore this enthralling planet and uncover its secrets. While Proxima b observes enticing potential outcomes, its current environment is intensely affected by the nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our Sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, smaller, cooler, and substantially less glowing. Its diminished size and temperature actually mean that its habitable zone is much closer, pulling Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 galactic units from the star, almost multiple times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This closeness creates a novel set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it could hold. One significant issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, particularly its intense and frequent solar flares. These flares are abrupt, powerful eruptions of energy that release high doses of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Such events are considerably more common and extreme in red dwarfs than in stars like our Sun. For Proxima b, this means a constant barrage of high-energy particles that could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time. Without a protective magnetic field like Earth's, any atmosphere on Proxima b would be vulnerable to erosion, leaving the surface exposed to harsh radiation. Even if Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, the radiation from Proxima Centauri presents huge challenges to life. Elevated levels of ultraviolet radiation can break chemical bonds, preventing the development of complex organic molecules. This would severely limit the potential for life to develop or even sustain itself on the planet's surface. On Earth, organisms like Deinococcus radiodurans have evolved mechanisms to repair DNA damage caused by radiation suggesting that life on Proxima b could also adapt. However, the level of radiation resistance required might be extreme, 
potentially demanding entirely new biosciences. Interestingly, Proxima B's tidally locked nature could offer some protection. While one side of the planet faces constant radiation from Proxima Centauri, the dark side could act as a refuge. Subsurface areas, or deep caves, could protect potential life forms from the worst of the radiation. Also, if Proxima B has subsurface oceans, they could provide a stable, radiation-free environment where microbial life could thrive, much like the ecosystems around hydrothermal vents on Earth. Despite these hardships, researchers remain optimistic that Proxima B's extreme environment offers an intriguing opportunity to study life's resilience. By understanding how living beings could survive or even flourish under such conditions, scientists can expand their knowledge of what makes a planet livable. Proxima B isn't just a potential home for life, but also a laboratory in the quest for life's adaptability across the universe. The possibility of life on Proxima B raises more questions than it answers, but it also offers another perspective on the meaning of livability. The search for life on Proxima B isn't simply a scientific mission, but a philosophical one. It challenges our understanding of what constitutes a habitable environment and broadens our search for life to include planets with extreme conditions. Proxima B's harsh radiation environment, along with its tidal locking, forces scientists to reevaluate the traditional notion of livability, which has largely been based on Earth-like conditions. One of the key aspects of studying Proxima B is its potential to reveal new insights into how life could adapt to extreme environments. If life can indeed survive and evolve in such a cold climate, it could reshape our assumptions about where life could exist in the universe. Understanding these possibilities could help researchers focus their search on other exoplanets that share similar characteristics to Proxima b, expanding the criteria used to identify potentially habitable worlds. The study of Proxima b also fits into the broader context of the search for exoplanets, planets that exist outside our solar system. In recent decades, the discovery of exoplanets has exploded, with thousands of these distant worlds now known. The study of these planets, particularly those in their stars' habitable zones, has shifted our perspective on the possibility of finding life elsewhere. Proxima b, with its proximity and potential for liquid water, is one of the most intriguing candidates. However, it is by no means unique. As technology advances, the number of known potentially habitable exoplanets continues to grow. In addition to studying Proxima b, astronomers are focusing on planets around other stars, especially those that share characteristics with our Sun. These Sun-like stars offer habitable zones that may be more stable and conducive to life. However, Proxima b, orbiting a red dwarf, presents a contrasting case that challenges conventional thinking about livability. Its study can provide valuable lessons on the resilience of life and how it might exist in more extreme conditions. Proxima Centauri, the star that hosts Proxima b, also offers scientists a fascinating opportunity to better understand stellar behavior, particularly the differences between stars like our Sun and red dwarfs. Red dwarfs are far more common in the universe than sun-like stars, and studying these stars can help us understand how different types of stars influence the potential for life on surrounding planets. Proxima Centauri's ongoing stellar flares and their effects on Proxima b's atmosphere might help researchers understand how different types of stellar activity influence planetary conditions, providing crucial insights for the search for life elsewhere. For now, Proxima b remains a mystery, but technological advances and future space missions may eventually provide the data needed to answer one of the most profound questions humanity faces. Is there life beyond Earth? With each new discovery, the possibility of finding life on Proxima b or other exoplanets, becomes more plausible, and the implications of such a discovery would be significant.